In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to fix the soft cloth physics in Icon 7. Let's get started. Good morning, everyone, and welcome back to another tutorial. Before we start, can you kindly hit the subscribe? To give this video a thumbs up i would appreciate it thank you very much let's get started in this particular video i want to show you how to fix the soft cloud physics one of the most time consuming thing to do when animating a character with garment is making sure that the that the garment fits properly and in this soft cloud physics it could be some really challenging trying to get this garment to fit properly. I created the character in Character Creator and I gave her one of these dresses and for some reason I couldn't get the dress to fit properly. So I'm going to show you a way how to fix the soft cloth physics. There's two ways you can do it. The first way you can fix this soft cloth physics, you click on the dress, you go into modify soft physics, and you have the presets, the cloth, the general satin, the fleece leather, linen, these are presets. And also you have down here, you have the properties. When you click on this preset, it changes the setting. And then also you can manually adjust these settings. You got the mass, you got the tether, friction, dampening and drag, elasticity, stretch, bending, inertia. So that also helps. I tried that and I was still having problems with peek throughs when the thighs were showing through the dress on both the left and right thigh. So there's another way that you can fix this problem. You click on the character and you go into collision shape. Click on collision shape. And the collision shape editor will come up and you have all these collision shapes all over this character. You got them on the shoulders, you got them on the arms, wrists, thighs, calves, and on the foot, everywhere. But the area of focus was the thighs. This is where I was having all the problems from. So I click on the left thigh and I did some adjustments. I kind of moved the soft, I mean, I moved the collision shapes. I kind of repositioned them, I kind of scaled them out a little bit. I did it on both sides. And I did it around the dress. And that fixed the problem. And that's it. Dress fits really nice. If you have any more questions about this video, or if you have any comments, any suggestions, I would definitely appreciate it. Because this is a learning channel. I'm not a professional. I'm just giving you ideas that may help you, and maybe you have some ideas that can help me. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.